Welcome back to the Falcons franchise until week three of the NFL season as the Falcons are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in our second division game of the year. Last week the Falcons lost to the Cincinnati Bengals on the road in a game in which our offense went completely stagnant and could not get anything going. Our defense tried their best but was not able to slow down that Bengals offense. And Devin Hester is back to return with Rob Baronis set to kick off and we are now underway primetime football Thursday night let's get started Devin Hester gets the kickoff he's trying to get some more makes a juke move to the outside and is brought down at the 21 yard line Matt Ryan takes field for the first time today coming in averaging 190 yards per game not a great average we'll have to see if he can improve that but starting off the day, handoff to Steven Jackson and he is met. But it looks like it might be a face mask on the first play of the day. So empty set, screen pass to Julio. And Julio is met immediately and brought down. So second and seven under center. Matt Ryan on the misdirection. And he hands off to Steven Jackson who goes to his right and picks up seven yards. So third and three under center once more. Ryan, he finds Bear Pasco, and that is a first down, a tight window, but Ryan is able to fit that ball in. It's now split back set, fake to Smith. Ryan goes and he is hit and not able to get that pass away. Pressure from Deshaun Goldson. So four wide set on third and seven. Quick pass to the outside for Julio Jones, and he appears to be just short, and he is fourth and one. Going with the I formation, handoff to DeMarco. He's fighting, he's still going, he will not go down and ends up picking her up around seven yards. A great job right there. Pistol set for the Falcons now, across the middle and Julio Jones drops that. Nearly caught on the tip by Bear Pascal, but that will be an incompletion. So Matt Ryan drops back, going to the screen pass to Anton Smith, gets a block, trying to get to the outside. Makes a stutter step, but picks up the first down just outside of the red zone. Hand off to Steven Jackson. He is met and brought down to the backfield. A loss of one yard. Third and 11 from the 22-yard line. Ryan drops back. He goes to the outside for Harry Douglas. And it is now goal to go for the Atlanta Falcons on their first drive of the day. So shotgun set. Hand off to Steven Jackson. Up the gut. Breaks off one tackle. And he is brought down inside of the five-yard line. Second and goal, I form, going to the left, it appears to Devontae Freeman, he breaks a tackle, and that is his first career touchdown. The rookie out of Florida State comes up huge on the running play, breaks a tackle, and Josh McCown getting the start with Mike Glennon injured, and we'll have to see how he is able to perform. He has struggled greatly in his first couple of games, putting up the yardage, but not efficient throwing the ball on their first play. Pass goes to Doug Martin across the middle for a gain of eight. McCown drops back, goes up, and Vincent Jackson not able to hang on to that ball. He went up and made the play, but the ball was knocked out. So we'll get a look at this Buccaneers team, and Dietrich Smith is out of this game, so the Buccaneers will start a rookie at center. So I formation offset, pitch to Doug Martin. The Buccaneers come into this game as the last rushing team in all of the NFL, but they were successful there getting the first down. And Rashid Hageman is getting the start today, trying to take advantage as he is an interior pass rusher against the rookie center. We'll have to see how he is able to perform. McCown drops back across the middle to Vincent Jackson, and that appears to be a gain of around five. So third and medium, three safeties on the field for the Falcons. McCown going outside, intercepted by Paul Warlow, and he is room to run. He could be able to get there, and he will. That is his first career pick six, as that gives the Falcons a 14 to nothing lead, as Warlow read that perfectly, and then was just off to the races. A great start for the Atlanta Falcons. Man in motion, handoff to Doug Martin, the only player on this team to have a carry is Doug Martin. None for Bobby Rainey or Charles Sim. We'll have to see if they are a part of the game plan today. But on the draw play on second down, only goes for two yards. So now third and very short. Quick pass to Mike Evans, the rookie out of Texas A&M. And he is able to pick up the first down and more nearing Atlanta Falcons territory. Offset eye give is to Doug Martin trying to get to the outside. Warlow is there and he is brought down hard. 
Doug Martin, not a great percentage so far running the ball, but McCown drops back. He finds his man, and the ball is out, and Jonathan Babineau is on top of it. That is a huge play right there. Evans makes a tough catch, but not able to hang on to the ball. So the Falcons back on offense. Steven Jackson reverses this field, breaks a tackle, and spins down just short of the first down line. So now second and two, twin tight end to the right. And the handoff is to Devontae Freeman. He gets just short of Buccaneer territory at the 49-yard line. Three wide set, fake to Jackson, going across the middle, low throw, but Roddy White able to hang on to that ball as he only comes in today with four catches through two games. So Matt Ryan drops back, going to the outside, wheel route to Steven Jackson, and he is able to get the ball, but not able to do much after the catch. So man in motion is Harry Douglas, Handoff straight up the gut is Steven Jackson, and that sets up goal to go for the Atlanta Falcons. Offset eye, fake to Freeman. Ryan surveying the field, middle of it, and intercepted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they will decide to run the ball out. An interesting decision as Mason Foster is brought down to the five yard line. That was a huge opportunity to be able to go up by three scores, but instead the Buccaneers have the ball back. Doug Martin on the first play picks up nine yards to set up third and one man in motion. Handoff to Martin once more trying to break it to the outside and it's close and it appears to be a first down and it is Doug Martin able to pick it up. Trips to the left. McCown drops back skin to the field. Pressure coming. Breaks one and Rashid Hagman comes up with the sack. It appears that the switch at defensive tackle has come up big for him as that is his second career sack. McCown drops back, scanning the field, going out, and he is sacked again, this time by Bartu, as that is his first sack of the day, second sack of the year. Matt Ryan drops back, scanning the field, trying to get out, and pressure comes, and he is brought down by Lawrence Sidbury, his first sack of the day. Third and 15, this is a very difficult down to get. Matt Ryan taking a shot downfield, and nearly intercepted. There was a cornerback out there, but not able to bring it in as that would have just been basically a punt. But on first and 10, Tampa Bay gets a false start. That is a huge mistake. Now first and 15, Doug Martin trying to break it to the outside. He's trying to get out, and he might have even lost a little bit. We'll have to see. He ends up actually gaining three yards. So now shotgun for the Buccaneers on third and long. McCown dropping back. Pressure coming, going deep, and it is nearly intercepted by Desmond Trufant. Intended for Mike Evans and the Falcons will take back over. Under center is Matt Ryan. Man in motion. They go to Julio who was in motion and he is brought down. That should be around a gain of eight. So trips to the right. Matt Ryan looking. He finds his man Harry Douglas who's just past the 40 and now inside of Buccaneer territory. Man in motion once more is Douglas. This time handoff to Steven Jackson and he is able to go up the gut. Not able to pick up very much only two yards so Roddy White in motion this time using the motion very effectively going on a screen pass trying to get Anton Smith in space and he is not able to get anywhere Foster makes the tackles now with 34 seconds left Matt Bryant in to kick a very long field goal 58 yards and not even close did not get all of it and Tampa Bay will take over from the 48 yard line a very interesting decision as on their first play Mike Evans Makes a spectacular catch, not a good throw, but he is able to come up with the pass. So McCown once more, this time across the middle to Doug Martin. First down, Buccaneers, and they will use their first time out of the half. So once more, Doug Martin once more, and now with 12 seconds left, the clock will run. Seven seconds left, clock running. McCown trying to get a pass, trying to score. Quick throw to Evans, one second left. And the Buccaneers will set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Baronis is good. And we will go into halftime 14-3. A dominating performance on our side, I would say. However, we were only up by 11. We allowed the Buccaneers to pick up three points. And had a missed opportunity inside of the 10-yard line. Where Matt Ryan threw an interception. And now time for the second half. Offset eye. McCown dropping back. Going to the outside. A bad throw again. But Lane is there, and that is a pickup of round five. So now third and five, McCown dropping back, scanning the field. Outside, and Safarian Jenkins is not able to pick up the first down. His momentum carried him out of bounds, 
as once more man in motion this time Julio Julio gets the pass and he is brought down we'll have to see if he picks up the first down and he is not so second and inches pressure gets there Matt Ryan goes down Gerald McCoy his first sack of the day so now pistol for the Atlanta Falcons going outside somehow Harry Douglas gets that ball no idea how he caught that we'll have to get a second look as it appears he just went up and stole that ball away a great play from Harry Douglas but now pistol going on the ground this time and Steven Jackson is met and tackled over 40 yards now rushing so nearing nine minutes left in the third quarter counter play to Steven Jackson he goes he's still up and fighting and brought down however he is able to pick up the first down pistol once more Matt Ryan drops back outside and another great throw and catch so same formation Matt Ryan drops back in zone bear Pascal touchdown 21 to 3 the Atlanta Falcons are starting to run away with this game the Buccaneers need to answer back quickly but Vincent Jackson across the middle that's a great start now I formation handoff to Doug Martin and he is met in the backfield by Paul Warlow and brought down for a loss third and three McCown looking he's trying to find a man pressure gets there and that is Hagman again these throwback uniforms appear to be bringing back the swagger of the old Falcons but now empty set for Matt Ryan going deep man out there and that is caught by Harry Douglas he breaks one tackle and brought down inside of the five yard line now empty set once more Matt Ryan outside on a screen pass Julio Jones brought down for a loss Matt Ryan now over 100 yard or 200 yards passing on the day but once more to Devonte Freeman that's his second touchdown of the day and his second touchdown of his career as he is vultured Steven Jackson twice in the day and now back on offense is the Bucks and Doug Martin not able to go anywhere only a gain of three McCown drops back he's looking has a man in the backfield on a swing pass and a great open field tackle by Joe Palu Bartu but now third and long empty set pressure getting there not able to come up with the sack and Rashid Hagman he was on the spy and having a career day that is now four sacks on the year for him coming in the day only one and he is just gone off and now up by 25 points the Falcons trying to run a little clock put this game away on second and ten that pass goes to Bear Pascal just short of the first down Matt Ryan in the pocket he's looking and that appeared to be caught what a catch by Roddy White he went down and was able to pick that ball up play action to Steven Jackson and nearly intercepted a poor decision he might have had Roddy White but the Falcons next week you can see their schedule for the next four weeks hand off to Steven Jackson he is met and the ball comes out that is our first fumble of the year we'll have to see if it was an actual fumble and they would go back and look at it and it definitely was but a weird formation for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as they go on a slant pass to Vincent Jackson for the first down now offset eye McCown driving back once more across the middle this time to Steven Jackson again that is actually Vincent Jackson and Paul Warlow a little slow to get up but he still appears to be on the field into the flat now Vincent Jackson not able to go anywhere maybe a gain of one or two yards so now shotgun for the Buccaneers pressure getting there and that is the pressure getting to the quarterback he saw it coming and not able to convert that pass so fourth and four showing pressure and it gets there that is a sack for Willie Moe his first sack of the day so now we just need to run some clock Devonte Freeman once more on offense and he only picks up around three on the run to the right side Steven Jackson back now in the game and a curl route to Roddy White he makes a man miss and inside of Buccaneer territory a huge play right there just over eight minutes left in the day spin move right there from Steven Jackson and he is not able to pick up really anything second and seven Anton Smith in the game trying to break it to the outside and brought down not a huge gain only four yards so now third and short hand off to Jackson fights for the first down his 16th carry of the day is one of the biggest of the day once more on the ground for Steven Jackson and he is hit hard and brought down now empty backfield for Matt Ryan going to the outside and incomplete 
The clock will stop with oh, just under five and a half minutes left. Matt Ryan drops back. Quick throw again. And that is a huge play from Alteron Werner to knock that pass down. Tampa Bay got to move quick. Going on a screen pass and great pursuit from Prince Shimbo for the tackle for loss. Now shotgun going with another screen pass and that is read perfectly by Joe Flubartu. He comes up with another huge stop. So third and a mile. Under center Josh McCown dropping back. Trying to find someone. Pressure was coming. He gets the pass out and Safarian Jenkins just able to get back to the 20 yard line. This game appears to pretty be much over as Devontae Freeman he is coming in to be the feature back for these final couple minutes. Get him some key carries. So now just over three minutes left. Two Freeman once more. And he is brought down just short of the first down line. So I formation handoff. Fake. And Matt Ryan is hit and not able to get that pass out. And the Buccaneers will get the ball back. Two minutes left. They still have the two minute warning. But this game is pretty much all but over. Across the middle to Sinferi and Jenkins. And he is brought down just short of the 50 yard line. McCown drops back. Going with a screen pass to Doug Martin. He goes with a hurdle. Desmond Trufant trying to get the strip. Another strip attempt. And we are not able to get that. But now second and ten. McCown drops back. Surveying the field. Pressure coming. And he is brought down. And Tampa Bay will use their first timeout of the half. This looks to be a big play for the Buccaneers. As on third and 17. Not able to get anything. And the Falcons will get the ball back. Take a knee. And Matt Ryan will be able to run the clock out to make the Falcons 2-1 and one on the year. Two very impressive wins and one very discouraging loss. This was a complete domination, I would say, of the Buccaneers, and we were completely dominated last week. So this appears to be a very inconsistent team. We put up 14 points in two quarters, zero in another. Matt Ryan, 237 yards passing. His high on the year so far, only one touchdown but he also threw an interception he needs to slow those down as that is his second on the year Devontae Freeman 30 yards for the rookie trying to get him more incorporated into our offense Doug Martin actually had the most receptions on the day but Harry Douglas over 100 yards receiving Willie Mosier leading tackler overall I really like what I saw of this team I thought they performed very well really like what I saw from Rashida Hagman he put up three sacks I gave him the start and he performed when we called upon him. Two picks on the day from both teams combined. And overall, just very impressive performance. So next week, we're taking on the 2-1 Minnesota Vikings, who do have Adrian Peterson. He is not suspended in this game, so that will definitely be a tough task to stop. But Steven Jackson, over 200 yards rushing on the year. Just a quick look at our stats so far. Two receivers really separating themselves from the team in Julio Jones and Harry Douglas. Four sacks in the year from Hagman. And a couple of interceptions from just different players so far. Only one forced fumble. I'd like to see that number increase. But the Minnesota Vikings coming off a loss to the New Orleans Saints, a team that we beat. So we'll have to see if we can beat them as New Orleans actually had less yards, but were able to come up with the victory as the Saints and the Falcons are both 2-1. Both performing very well. The Buccaneers are 0-3. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on the game. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.